Hello, welcome guys. I'm Gaurav from Serious Hobbies. This is the first video in a series in which I'm going to show you some cool animation stuff. So let's get started with the animation that you just saw. So for that, first take a rectangle of the same way as it looks in Microsoft. Change its color to green because most of the loading bars in Microsoft are of green color. And uh, change its outline to no outline. And to give it a bit 3D effect, I'll use presets. And preset 3 will do. Okay, now copy and paste this here and reshape the second one by changing its length. But make sure the width is the same as the original one. You can check that by placing it. And the side and comparing the width okay now I'll use some gradient effect in this because basically I want the second rectangle to be it's the same way as the first one but I want its center to be a bit of light green color so that it looks like it is shining at the center so I'll explore the more gradient effect options and I'll change the end colors of this small rectangle to be the same as the original rectangle by using this eyedropper tool and at the center I'll use a light green color the light green color should be of the same tone as this original one so, so I'll explore some more more colors and use the lighter one okay so and just to confine the shininess at the center, I'll adjust the gradient stops a bit, moving them to a bit center. Okay, now we are done with the graphics of this loading bar. Now place this small rectangular at the left side of the original long bar. Now make our draw rectangle and fill it with white color so that it's not visible and uh, change its outline to be no outline so, it's, so that it's entirely invisible and it also covers the small rectangular bar now copy and paste it and with the second rectangle cover the entire length of the original loading bar so that it's completely hidden now applying animation to this rectangle uh, add animation I'd like to add motion part to it and I'll move it to the right so selecting the right okay now I want the end point of this animation to a bit more towards right uh, actually it's not visible with this no outline in this rectangle so for time being setting the outline to black so that it's visible what I'm doing so if we go to animation again we'll see that uh, I've moved the rectangle to bit uh, more towards right so just getting it back just the way at the end just the end of the original rectangular bar so exploring some more effects option I don't want smooth start and I don't want smooth end either and timings uh, it's all good okay now this is how it's going to look like now coming to the small rectangular that we placed at the left side of the original rectangular bar loading bar so now applying animation to it adding animation I also want it to move towards right so right it is okay uh, I want to start it with previous so selecting start with previous option and exploring some more effects option I don't want it to smooth start or smooth end uh, I want it to repeat a uh, certain, certain number of times uh, 6 maybe uh, ok uh, 6 will do uh, and I want it to end at the same position as the original loading bar okay so here it is 
and to just increase the duration of this whole animation uh, sorry I'll, I'll increase the duration of this whole animation by increasing the time it takes to uncover the original uh, loading bar and making the ani second animation to be of the same duration as the first one okay so we are done with animation now hiding the boundary of this rectangle so that it is invisible okay we are done so here is our animation it may not be smooth because uh, my screen is being recorded right now but it looks amazing just give it a try and that's it thanks for watching